You'll notice, though, just some general comments about reincarnation first, that reincarnation really took off as a Western belief in, in the 50s and 60s. And most of you might have noticed that starting to occur. That this, before then, in Western, in Western cultures, generally reincarnation was not something that was generally agreed upon. But as the New Age movement has caught and taken, you know, taken place, and a lot of the Eastern philosophies have merged into some Western cultures. What's happened is the reincarnation thing is a, is a constant theme that keeps popping up. Now, with reincarnation itself, um, you're feeling that it was fair. You're feeling that the, old, the, the, the teaching of reincarnation exactly. was fair. And, and I can see your point in that you feel that because... You know, this, this particular lifetime you would be experiencing certain things and you'd come back and experience certain things next mm -hmm. lifetime. But if we look at the teaching in more, in, with more clarity, you'll find that, um, that everything ba based, is based on karma in terms of what's happening in this lifetime and what they call dharma as well, right? So, so those two things, which, which I would call the law, based around the law of compensation, are what's driving these teachings of reincarnation. So let's look at karma in terms of what's going on with karma. Karma, the principle of karma is what you sow now, you'll reap in your next lifetime. That's the basic principle of karma from reincarnation. But the truth is, what you sow now, you will reap now. So there's a big difference between that, between those two particular points of view. So Firstly, a lot of times people, this, if you think about it, my tendency to reap something later down the track but not right now, my tendency to believe that, causes me to choose to do things sometimes very damaging to myself and to others right now. So if you look at the cultures who have reincarnation as a foundation of their belief, what has happened to them culturally? What have you found has happened to them culturally? Can you see what's going on with them, those particular cultures? If you look at them. Let's look at what are the primary cultures where reincarnation began as teachings that you're aware of. Buddhism. India. So, so Hinduism and Buddhism. So let's look at, say, the Hindu culture. What do you notice happening there from a purely love perspective? What do you notice happening? Well, they've got their um, segregations and... All right, so there's this class of people who are the untouchables, mm -hmm. and then there are these classes of people who are higher. And what's that class of people? What, what are, why are the untouchables classed as untouchables? Does anyone know the background there? No? Because of the menial tasks they do, the dirty tasks. They're doing the dirty tasks, but the reason why they're assigned that, there's a general con consensus in India that people who karma. are assigned that are due to karma, mm -hmm. due to their previous life being, they were bad in their previous life, so now they deserve to have that job. Now the question I have, is that an act of love? Mm -hmm. Is that loving? Mm -hmm. right, so every single, you'll find that every single answer presented to you today will be based on whether something really appeals to your heart in terms of love or not. And you can examine lots of teachings this way by just seeing what's loving and what isn't. Is it loving to sort of treat somebody quite badly now because of something they did in the past that you are not even aware of? Is it loving for you to have the attitude that they deserve this treatment now? And if it's not loving for you to have it, do you think it's, would, God would have it? Do you think God would have that attitude? Obviously not. What would you have to your children? Let's say today you had a child and that child went a bit wayward and uh, you found that they started to choose to do things like take drugs and whatever and they messed up their life a fair bit. Would you then, would you then want to put more burdens on them? Or would you want to correct them or have them somehow corrected so that they have less <coughs> burdens on them? What would be your goal as a parent? Less burdens would be less burdens, wouldn't it? Yeah. And, that, and a lot of times what we're actually doing with God is we're attributing to God feelings that are actually worse than our own. Right? 
And, and this is, a lot of the teachings of reincarnation actually came about because they could not understand suffering. And so what they did then is try to come up with an explanation for it, which enabled the people who were coming up with the explanation to allow the people who were suffering to keep suffering without them doing anything about it. And this is what happened historically, many, like many thousands of years ago that reincarnation teachings began. And the reasons for the creation of those beliefs were very emotional. Yeah. And those emotional creations, which were based on wanting people to be punished for bad behaviour, all began this cycle. And if you think about it, even the Christian philosophies all have similar teachings, don't they? Just exhibited in a different form. The Christian teachings are more, God's going to punish you if you're a bad boy or a bad girl. And obviously, none of these teachings are in harmony with love. Would you, would you, if your child was wayward, decide, oh, the best way to sort them out would be to punish them even more? Like, that they're already feeling punished in their own life? Most of the time, not, would you? You'd want them to try to... And I'm not talking about what's just or right here, I'm just talking about what you feel inside of you. So, connect with what you feel inside of you. When you do that, you'll find that actually... The reincarnation teachings as they are on earth today are not quite as just as what we may believe. They're actually quite damaging to whole cultures of people because they actually, what they do is they enable a culture to continue overlooking poor treatment of others with the justification that it's their karma. Mm. 